Hello and welcome to another product review with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing a review of some uh, products that I bought from the store. Um, something different. I haven't done anything like this before. These are two yogurts made by the Nusa company. And what's interesting about these is that th this one is made with jalapenos and this one is made with habaneros. So I was interested in these. I think they also have other ones with other peppers. I think there's a serrano. I'm not sure what fruit that it's with, but the jalapeno is with pineapple, and the raspberry has the habanero in it. So I'm going to taste these two, see how spicy they are, see how good they are. And if they're good, maybe I'll try out the other ones too. Let's first try the Nusa pineapple with jalapenos. And I've already taken the, uh, there's a foil wrapper underneath here, but I already took that off just for convenience sake. Plus, the yogurt doesn't look too good when you first open it, so I also already mixed it up. So here we have the uh, pineapple and jalapeno. You can see it's just white. Um, you can see pineapple chunks, and you can kind of see jalapeno pieces in there too. Let's give this a taste, see if it taste any good and see if it's spicy at all. So on first taste, yeah first taste is just straight up pineapple yogurt. And then like as the heat of your mouth warm, warm it up you definitely taste a jalapeno pepper in there. Just like the slightest hint of spice. You know, jalapenos aren't that spicy to begin with. They're like on the lower end of most hot peppers. It's actually pretty good. If you keep eating it, you don't really taste spice at all. You taste the spice once you swallow down everything, kind of cleared your mouth of the the dairy part of it, and then you're just left with like a residual heat inside of your mouth. And that was the Nusa pineapple jalapeno. If you like yogurt, uh, Nusa is very good all around. Uh, it's all natural, gluten free, probiotic. And happy cows never treated with RBGH, which I'm guessing is some kind of growth hormone um, that they give to cows. Aussie culture, so Aussie culture, Colorado fresh. I don't know what that means. If it's like an Australian company, but it's made in the USA. I don't know. But anyway, let's try out the raspberry habanero see if going up on the spice scale with the peppers makes it any spicier. And again, I've already opened this and mixed it up. Let's see, it's, this one's more red colored. You can tell this is like just natural because there's like no dyes in it. Pineapple didn't really give it any color, but the raspberry kind of made it a pale pink. So let's see, definitely see raspberries. I can't see habaneros, but you don't know. They might be in there just hiding. Let's give this a taste. Again, right when it hits your mouth, it's just all raspberry. But then as you clear, you clear your mouth. That's definitely a little bit more spicy. Not overly spicy, but definitely more spicy than the jalapenos. And it tastes different than the jalapenos. Jalapenos have like a sweeter, close to a bell pepper flavor. Whereas habaneros to me are more, uh, they're more, more like a lemony or a citrusy kind of flavor to them, as well as a spice. Um, I personally don't, uh, raspberry's not my favorite yogurt or fruit in general, just because I don't like the seeds. It's not a flavor, it's the seeds. Um, I'll eat it, but if I have other options, then I would choose something else. 
like uh, if the pineapple was with the habanero I think it would be better or strawberry for some reason strawberry seeds are fine with me but raspberry seeds I don't like Apparently beards and yogurt don't go together very well. I really like that. I like the, the amount of heat. It does say on here, sweet heat. And that's basically what it is. It hits you with sweetness first. And it's not sugary sweetness, it's like natural fruit sweetness. Pineapple with the raspberry. I'm not sure what the Serrano one is paired with again, but I would try it. I would give uh, out of 10 for both of these, Noosa, spicy, uh, pepper, yogurt varieties, I'd probably give these a 8.5 out of 10. They're really good. Um, if you like yogurt, like the base yogurt is really good, the fruit in here is nice, and just that added heat from the peppers I think really gives it uh, something different that you don't get from other uh, yogurts out of these two I probably like the pineapple one better just because I like pineapple more than raspberry if they were to do the pineapple with a habanero I think that would be my my best outcome out of both of these but anyway that's it for this review the Noosa spicy yogurts. Until next time, bye.